Colorado Springs. This is the International Association of Wood Carvers at the first annual character carving competition, Carving in the Rockies. We're going to go ahead and announce our competition winners for the various categories, and we're going to announce um, our best of show winners. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ryan Olson, and I am the this this year I am the competition committee uh, chairman. And our committee has worked so hard. Wayne Larimore and Wayne Gosnell have been on the competition chair. We have we worked hard to bring you a great competition. The judges this year were myself, Dwayne Gosnell, and Bruce Hen. We were the judges for this competition. The best of show, as we'll talk about in just a moment, were, was judged by all of the CCA members, which is a pretty cool and exciting thing. Um, I'm going to introduce, or I'm going to talk about the different winners of the different categories if you're here raise your hand so that we can give you an applause we won't have you we won't have you come up on stage there's going to be time for that at the banquet and i hope you all are coming to that because that's going to be great but but raise your hand and maybe give us a holler so that we know where you're at we can put a face to a carving um that would be that'll be fun and exciting for us also before i do just want to remind you if you haven't gotten to the silent auction table, get over there, and there are some great pieces, pieces over there, and you uh, you might end up with uh, a steal of a, a carving. Um, get over there and check it out and bid for some of those silent auction. Um, that, that money goes to this and help it make it great. So I want to start out um, with the first category. This is our rough off category. The winner of the rough off category was Pat Coffee. Pat, are you here? There we go. Pat Coffee. People give me the 10 inches this year. The winner was Dan Slater. Is Dan here? Right here. Dan Slater. Bonus Coffee category. The winner was Dan Slater. Category this year, the miniature first place ribbon, Jim Feather. Our miniature, our, our Christmas ornament category this year, um, this year it went to Blake Lunsford, right here. And now your video is on. Okay. It's going live this afternoon, right now. It's right now. Blake is live. With the international wood carvers, they're all here with us in this very room. A whole bunch of them are right here with us, and so you all got to know Blake just won uh, Christmas one. Group mix this year goes to Neil Sutherland. Is Neil here? Murphy was trying to get that ball. Animal this year was Bob Howard, and I hope I said it right. Bob, are you in the house? Bob Howard. Right over here, back here. Our bust category this year went to Blake Lunsford with his gala. Uh, people animal this year went to Andrew, Andrew Hiroshima. Um, the uh, Santa Claus category this year, our first place winner was Cindy Rock. She's right here. Even under 10 inches, first place winner, Joe, Joe McMullen. And I just saw him walk in. The miscellaneous category, the winner was Bruce Butterer with his faces on the spoon this year. Bruce, 
which one of you that won first place in your category won $50? And when you pick up your carving, by the way, all carvings are going to be picked up tomorrow from 2 to 4 o'clock. No carvings left over 4 o'clock. When you pick up your carving, don't forget to pick up your $50 check to each one of these 14 um, category winners. Put your hands together one more time. For all of those categories. Waiting for the best of show, and uh, carvings have come from all across the country to this competition. Um, you guys drove them this year, and I'll tell you, if you, when you see the quality of the carvings in there, you are going to be you are going to be excited that it's a live competition. Things that would never be mailed in, complicated carvings, high high uh, competition. Um, the best of show was voted on by all CCA members. If you won first, second, or third, best of show, that means that you won it um, through all of the CCA members. They all did the voting. So this is all of us. This wasn't just three people. This was all of us. Um, and so uh, the, the third best of show is going to win a $100 check, best of show, a $200 check, and, and, and then first best of show is going to win a $300 check. As soon as I announce best of show, the, uh, the competition floor is open for you to go and, and view all of the uh, all of the pieces. We've got the ribbons there. Um, just a reminder, please don't touch any pieces that are on display or in the competition. If you do, we'll, we'll be asked to leave. Don't touch them, move them. Even if they're yours, please leave them. Um, and you're, you're welcome to go in as soon as I make this announcement and see, um, see the winners. I know a lot of you are excited. Feel free to take all of the photos you want all of the video you want in there and send it to friends, family, stream it on Facebook, get the excitement out there so that everybody can be a part of this and see the competition um, and, and all of those pieces. Okay, here we go. I know you're all nervous. <laughs> this is third place, uh, third best of show, and the winner of $100 uh, for the 2022 uh, competition. With his never buy guns from a rodeo clown goes to Neil Sutherland. This year, our second best of show goes to an incredibly detailed mythical creature. It goes to Andrew Andrew Hiroshima for second best of show. This year, the CCA, uh, the entire CCA membership, chose for our first best of show. With his hairdo hysteria, it goes to Dave Dion. Put your hands together. The classes are starting right away. So if you're in a class, we encourage you to get right there so that instructors can keep going. We also ask that as instructors are teaching, if you can kind of keep it down right around where these guys are learning and working so that they can do their thing. Um, thank you all. Well, thank you all for joining us today with the International Association of Woodcarvers. Uh, this is a day that's been long anticipated. We uh, started advertising this show about a year ago, and um, here it is, September the 24th, uh, the very first annual CCA uh, Carving the Rocky show. Uh, we're live here at the show today, as you just saw Ryan Olson just announced um, all of the winners of the show. and. Um, uh, they're opening the show floor up now so people can go and check out those carvings. So I uh, look forward to getting over there. Uh, we're going to have a special guest with us here in a few minutes. Dave Stetson's going to be on. Uh, I'm sitting at his table and he's going to go in and talk to Ryan Olson a little bit about the competition. Uh, but as usual, before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about some of the stuff that we've got coming up on the International Association of Woodcarvers. Uh, we're going to continue to do our weekly meetings. Uh, next Saturday, October the 1st, Chris Gardia is going to be on doing a demonstration talking about Boy Scouts and Bolo Ties. Uh, October the 15th, Nikki Reese is going to come on. She's going to do a painting demo. Uh, we've had uh, maybe one or two other painting demos in the past. Uh, Nikki does some cool little gnomes, and she's going to come on and uh, do a demonstration on how she paints those. Uh, on October the 22nd, Bob Hershey's going to come on. Uh, Bob is here today teaching a class. Uh, he's going to be doing some cottonwood bark carving around uh, Halloween. So that class is going to be October the 22nd. And Bob has a class coming up 
uh, that he's going to be talking about uh, in December. So when he comes on, he'll be talking about that. Um, on October the 29th, Rod Gatlin's going to be coming on with us. I uh, saw Rod last weekend up at the Big Stone Gap show, and uh, he's going to come on and talk to us about his carving journey and talk about the uh, Charlotte wood carvers. Uh, and then on November the 19th, the guy that just did the demonstration there or the presentation, I guess, there a few minutes ago, Ryan Olson, he's going to come on and talk about a class that he's going to be doing uh, that's coming up next year, but he's also going to be doing a demonstration for us. So uh, make sure you tune in to all of those meetings. Again, we meet at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on Saturdays. So if you're available, feel free to join us. If you're not available, then uh, we put all the videos out on YouTube. So make sure that you uh, go out and check out our YouTube channel, like and subscribe, and go out and check out past videos there. Uh, we have 123 videos that we've recorded from these meetings uh, and some podcasts, so make sure you uh, tune into those. Um, today, we've got Dave Stetson on. He's here with us, and uh, he's going to go in and talk to Ryan Olson a little bit about the, um, the competition, the quality of the work, and uh, show some of the pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and see if Dave's ready, and we'll go ahead and turn it over to him. Dave, are you on now? Boy. That's, that's our that's our that's our president jim heiser <laughs> this is this is our illustrious and a president. really cool get up and one of the best things about it is his hat band is a piece of duct tape so things are not always what they seem oh yeah and red shoe laces gotta have it all Heading down the line, this is the silent auction table. People can come in, place their bids. And there's some really cool carvings up here at really low prices. And some beautiful attending ladies. <laughs> Carol Leedy, Wayne Laramore. Feel <laughs> free. Winners and losers. <laughs> tables and tables full of roughouts. Wood vendors, more roughouts are here. Say hi, Randy. Hello. We're at the far corner, stage at the other end. It's a Shriners Auditorium. They are beautiful. Nice collectors. Eat your heart out. Drool. That's the man, man that makes them. And his bodyguard. Yes. The creature. David Paul. Sharpeners from Burke Sharpeners. Yeah, tell her right. Because it's been a lot of years. Mountain wood carvers. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, warm. Yeah. yeah. Mountain wood cars has quite a tool display. That's Pam with mountain wood cars. Rich Weatherby. Hot day. <laughs> and all of Rich's paraphernalia. <laughs> And the competition room is open now. It's open to the public. So I don't know if I can get in the door or not. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, so all of the competition pieces are crowded in here. Is this Michelle? And it's good. No, this is the International Wood Carver oh, Association. It's well, I'd rather talk to Michelle. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take a shortcut.
we're going to avoid that for right now. We'll try to hit it later. It's not so busy. And we'll go up here on stage and show you the exhibit of the caricature carvers. This is our newest member, Bob Thurston. And he doesn't get to get up on the stage because he's a rookie. Some interesting paraphernalia hanging around here. These are the first guys that started at the CCA. And if we can get up here on stage, we can see the carvings that are on display. So we've got Dale Green, Kevin Applegate, Ryan Olson, Floyd Radigan, Jim Heiser, Carol Levy, Sandy Smith, BJ Driscoll, Chris Hammock, the list goes on. Bob Travis, Wayne Larimore, Randy Landon, Dwayne Gosnell, Ron Dowdy. Most of these carvings had to come on flights from around the country. <clears throat> so the uh, detailed pieces, which are some of our best work, are left at home. That's a uh, a guy we don't need to talk about. Joe Wanamaker, some of our deceased and not present members. And that's the show for our first presentation. I'll turn it back over to Blake and then I'll try to get in the competition room when it thins out a little bit. Thanks, Dave, I appreciate that. So as you all can tell, there's a pretty good crowd here today. Um, they Chris. took Hello. entries Big up fan. until 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Pleasure, sir. Um, I think Dave's still unmuted. Um, all of the carvings had to be checked in by 10 this morning for them to do the judging. Um, they've got rough out vendors here. They've got tool vendors here and knife vendors. Like, like you said, Healthy Knives is here selling their knives. Uh, if anybody's local and they're able to get out here, um, we're going to be here until four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So if you get a chance to come here, um, come and meet these guys, you can get one of the big things that Dave didn't talk about. You can get this new book, uh, the eyes have it. And this is the newest book that the CCA put out. Um, you have opportunity to come in and get the majority of the members to sign this book for you. Uh, and each one of them submitted a project as far as how they carve eyes. And uh, you're able to work through those projects based on the uh, the detailed steps that they've done. And it's a great opportunity to get a hold of them. page forty. Uh, so Dave Stetson's on page forty. <laughs> well, there's that. And uh, we're just having a great time. So we're here in Colorado Springs. And if any of you have never been to the area, um, it's beautiful here. The weather's been great, um, upper 70s uh, yesterday and today. It's supposed to be that tomorrow. Um, you've got the Garden of the Gods close by. You've got Denver close by. You've got uh, Red Rocks, which is the big uh, amphitheater stadium that uh, they do live concerts at. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff to see here. Uh, you're asking, Blake, why are you saying all this stuff? Well, they're going to have this meeting or the show again next year. And so for those of you who aren't here, I encourage you to make plans, try to get out here, uh, do everything you can to make this show. Um, I don't know the dates exactly yet, but it should be about the same time next year. And this is really a great time to be in Colorado. It's, it's not snowing yet. There's no snow in the mountains. Uh, it's still warm enough in the daytime where you can get out and do some stuff. Uh, a little bit cool at night, but that's still not too bad. Um, but it's really a great atmosphere. If you love wood carving, if you love caricature carving, this is really the event to be at. So um, I think the majority of the members are here. There's probably a handful of them that wasn't able to make the trip for one reason or another, uh, but all of them are here interacting. They're signing autographs. Uh, there's some classes going on today and tomorrow. There's three classes, I think, today, three classes tomorrow. Um, and if you want to rub elbows with some of these guys and pick up tips, uh, and learn some of the, uh, the techniques and stuff that they do. I see guys sitting down all the time just saying, okay, here's how I do it, let me show you. 
Um, so they, they sit down, they, they take you through the, uh, the projects and, uh, they'll show you anything that they can to try to make you better. So, um, I think now Dave's back out there with Ryan Olson. I'm going to turn it back over to Dave Stetson and let him, uh, talk to Ryan Olson about the competition here this year. And we're here at the CCA competition. We have had absolute success this year. We had 152 entries from all over the country and we've got all shapes and sizes. Everything from uh, everything from great big entries to, to little entries, and we're going to take you around and kind of show you some of the some of the ribbon winners of the different categories. So hopefully you guys can all be entering next year and bringing your carvings, and we can have we can have twice as many next year. We're going to start with the rough out. Okay, they've seen enough of you. Let's get to the carvings. Okay, we're going to start with rough out. So this is uh, this is the rough out division. They can be carved from um, a rough out of any instructor. And our carvings are judged. Originality here at our competition is very, very important. We do everything from um, originality to movement to uh, judging the finish to bases. All of these things are important. Then now Dave is moving you into the miscellaneous uh, category: canes, um, spoons. Um, we've got a we've got a mask that fits in the miscellaneous category. Um, this, this spoon uh, here was the first place winner by Bruce Futter, really great piece. We've got a chess set, we've got all sorts of stuff. Dave's getting on there. Um, and, the, and, and the video of this, as you guys know, it'll never do it, it'll never do it justice. Um, now we're moving into the next category Dave's gonna be moving you into <laughs> is the, uh, the single figure under 10. So we use that 10 inch designation over and over 10 and under 10 is kind of the cutoff point. This was the winner he's on right now. This is a Marty McFly by, by Joe McMullen. Um, I want to kind of get a 360 of that so you all can see it. Um, and then, yeah, we've got, this was our largest, um, this was our largest division this year um, at the competition. Uh, we had, we had a lot of entries in this and it was just highly competitive. Um, this was our second place winner right here by Dan, Dan Slater. And this is our third place winner by Tim. Um, Tim's, he, I was just talking to him. He's here, I'm Tim Perry. Um, you got some Blake Lunsford's carvings right there. You recognize that name. <laughs> So the benefit to doing an in-person competition this year was we didn't have a, a lot of broken pieces in the past. One of the main reasons we had to go to this format was it became so difficult to get things shipped across the country, get them unpacked, judged, boxed back up, and shipped back across the country. It was so difficult to do that um, that this has alleviated a lot of that. But we also, um, as an organization, decided that we wanted to go to more of a personal format where we could have the opportunity to meet the folks that, um, that brought these carvings. So if you've got carvings that you want to get here next year, um, the ideal is to bring them yourself. But if you're not able to bring them yourself, if you've got somebody that you can ship it to who is willing to bring it and unpack it and show it, um, and then pack it back up and ship it to you. You can certainly do that. This is our first place winner in this category, Cindy Roth. She won um, in the first place in the Santa category. And then over here, we've got our single animal. He's going through that. And now Dave's working his way into our bust category. As you know, uh, as you can see, we've got all different uh, shapes and sizes um, in the bust. And this is the a bust just needs to have a head and shoulders and chest um, that needs to be that needs to be recognized as a head and shoulders and chest that are carved. That's the, the difference between bust and bottle stopper is that a bust has the shoulders and chest with it where a bottle stopper wouldn't. For some reason, necks are not required. Oh yeah, next or next. Yeah, now we're moving into the group animal category. This was our our second place winner right here by Travis Vickers, and then our first place winner over here by Bob Howarth. 
and look at this little frog. <laughs> uh, just just the detail on that little frog. He just did a he just did, did a found fantastic job. That's our group group animal. And then the next category Dave's moving into right now, this is our group mixed. Um, group mixed is animals and humans together um, in a group. If they're, uh, it needs to have both an animal and a human to be in the group mixed. Um, that's another Bob Howarth right there. Tim Perry, we, we mentioned his name before. He was our second place winner here with the slingshot. And then our first place winner of this one has been moved over to the uh to the best of show um, table, which we're, we're, we're working our way through. And then, yeah, that's our group mixed category. The next category is our Christmas ornaments. Um, and if you bring in Christmas ornaments next year, we suggest you bring some, um, some way to display them and, and lift them up. When we did mail and we didn't do that, but um, for our in-person competition, bring some sort of a way to display it if you can. Um, it just might show it off a little bit better. Um, our winner for this category is Blake Lunsford with his plaid hatted Santa. And then um, also with his little crooked smile Santa, Blake took second. And then Todd Odette took third place um, with this. Uh, we need a new rule. One, one award per Carter. <laughs> yeah. Spread yeah. Spread it around. Just spread the love. Taking everything. Yeah. And this is our miniature category. They have to be under, they have to be able to fit into a two inch cube in the miniature category. Um, and these, uh, the, these are for people that like to carve that, that tiny little detail and get in. I hope you can, it's tough to see that detail. I'm gonna, we're gonna zoom in here on this one and kind of show you, let's see if we can kind of show you what a, what a detailed, this is, this is what a detailed miniature can look like. This is a, this is a great smasher. Um, this is like a Bruce Federer. This all has to fit. I mean, you look how small that is, um, under two inches. And then we've got another Bruce Federer over here, this little cowboy. So the, the first place of each division wins $50, $50 for the winner of each division. And then, um, best of show wins $300. So, um, this is relief category that Dave's taking you through and we've just got a couple more we're going to show you and then we're going to send you back to we're going to send you back to Blake here in just a second um, like I said 152 total entries this year um, which we we absolutely consider consider a success the the price to enter enter in this competition you pay $25 and that'll get you that get you in the door of, of the show and that also allows you to enter up to five pieces after that um, after that it's uh, five dollars for every piece above and beyond we don't have any limit as to the amount this is our winner, uh, Bruce Futterer, right here. And Bruce took first and second in this category. And then our third place winner in relief this year was Jerry McNulty right here. Who, Jerry, I just was talking to him. He told me he's only been carving four years and uh, just taken off like a, like a shot. Um, some great entries. That was a very competitive um, category. Now, now Dave is moving you over into our group human. And this, this has to have at least two human figures. Um, they all need to be affixed to a common base. So if you want to enter the group human, you're, you're going to want to have them all affixed to a common base. And, and interaction, is, interaction is big here. Um, it, it, it really helps in this category if the figures can really interact. And again, some of these figures, like this, this baseball this baseball set, I mean, imagine shipping that all the way across the country. I don't think it would have worked very well, but in person, um, Steve Garnett was able to bring it here himself, which was great. So Steve Garnett was the second place winner. And then over here, we've got a flat plane. Oh, he's going all through the baseball, yeah. Football, some really fun interaction between those characters you're seeing. Um, the judging is just difficult. Um, this is the Bruce Federer put these two together um, for, for the third place. And then finally, we've got two more categories. The one, this is our bottle stopper category right here. And our third place was uh, our third place winner was Pat Coffee. We've got um, right here, you can see 
Todd Odette was our second place winner. And then, and also our first place winner. When we judge these, the names are hidden so that we're not able to see, we're not able to see who it is that entered the pieces. It's a, that, that as in most competitions, um, the judges um, don't know the names of the competitors. And that's another thing, when you bring your pieces in next year, um, don't have visible names on your carvings. We're gonna have to show the names so once or doesn't win twice. <laughs> there you go, that's right. And then this, uh, that's the bottle stopper category. And then Dave's gonna be moving us into the last category we're gonna show you before we get to our best of show. This is single human figure um, over uh, 10 inches and over. And this is our winner with uh, Dan Slater, um, won it this year. Um, and the title of the, co the competition of his piece is called The Winner. Maybe that was uh, subliminal, but that was the winner of this. Um, and then um, third place. Went All you got to do is tell the judges you're a winner. That's right. Third place went to Jerry McNulty. And then the second place in this category went to Dave Dion, which this is a giant carving. This, this, uh, this cowboy, it's hard to get the scale. And now we're going to take you over to the best of show winners. These were, these were all voted on by all of the CCA members. Every one of them had a vote. Um, and we've got our three best show. We're gonna th start with a third place winner here on the, down at the very end. This, this one went to Neil Sutherland. The title of the carving is Never Buy Guns from a Rodeo Clown. Tells a story, look at the interaction, look at the colors. Um, and Neil Sutherland was our was basically our he was our third best of show winner this year um and and the scale of the carving it's it's hard to tell there on the video but it's really a pretty tall carving um just absolutely excellent and then our second our first runner-up or our second best of show this year went to andrew andrew hiroshima and um this bit in, it, this fit into single animal because there is a there is a category in single animal for mythical creatures so this went into single animal it won the category and also it won second best of show look at that look at the detail on that and then finally this year our best of show winner went to um went to dave dion with hairdo hysteria um, he's got he's got uh, eight figures or, or seven figures in there. The interaction, the level of difficulty was pretty much off the charts, carving not only females, but carving carving ethnic females that were interacting and having uh, expression. Look at the detail in the hair. Look at the textures that he did. Just an absolutely excellent carving. Just a word of advice to all of you out there that are in competitions. The, the base is very important. The base that you put your carvings on, it will, it really adds the carving, hand carve the title right into the base. Um, and our, so again, first uh, best of show winner went, went to Dave Dion. So thanks for joining Dave and I here at the competition. I'll give it back to you, Dave. All right, guys. Thanks, Dave. And thanks, Ryan, for, uh, for taking us through the results there of the show. So as you often see, there's probably quite a few more carvings uh, that were entered in this show also because people were able to bring them, hand deliver them and get them checked in instead of shipping them out. So uh, it's really been a great show so far uh, for people entering carvings and uh, getting to see some really great competition. Uh, wanted to let you all know about some uh, Wood Carving Academy events that are coming up. Uh, again, Wood Carving Academy, you can go out and like and subscribe to their channel also. Um, they offer uh, online classes that you can go out and can subscribe to. And um, you can go out and watch past workshops that's been, uh, been recorded. You can also check out some old videos that were recorded, like from Tom Wolf. You can go out and check those out. Um, but there's some new uh, classes that are coming up that if you're interested in uh, carving and you can't leave the house or, or you don't want to go or travel somewhere to go to a class, uh, these are the best ways to take classes online. Uh, they're hosted through Wood Carving Academy. And uh, you have to reach out to the uh, individual teacher to be able to participate in those. Uh, but I wanted to let you know a little bit about those that are coming up. Again, Janet Cordell is going to be doing a class starting September the 30th. Uh, that's on carving a female face in cottonwood bark. Uh, Janet is one of the best female carvers uh, as far as carving female wood carvings out there. Uh, so check out her class and reach out to her if you're interested in signing up for that. 
uh, October the 1st, Dave Stetson's going to be a be doing a class on the bookworm uh, seated reader. And it just so happens I have the pieces here that he's working on for the class. Uh, this is what you're going to be carving in the class. Uh, I think he's got a rough out that you can get from Dwayne Godsnell. Uh, you can also do the cutout and work on it from the cutout. Uh, so check out Dave. Uh, if you're interested in these, get signed up, uh, contact him uh, so you can get uh, Dwayne's information so that you can get the rough out in time. Again, Dave's class starts October the 1st, so I think you still have time to participate in that. Again, if you don't have time to get the rough out, you can at least do it through the cutout. So uh, reach out to Dave Stetson if you want to uh, sign up for that class, and uh, he'll get you signed up. Kevin Applegate, who is here, is doing a two-day class on the Bride of Frankenstein. That starts on October the 8th. Um, Dave Stetson's also going to be doing his yearly Santa uh, class on a Santa rough out that he's created. He does a yearly class on a different Santa every year. That starts on November the 5th. Uh, so if you're interested in that, contact Dave. I would say he'll start signing people up after the uh, bookworm class is over. But uh, if you're interested, you can reach out to him and let him know. Uh, and then Bob Hershey, who is here today, that's also going to be doing a uh, demonstration for us on the 22nd. He has a class on December the 3rd, uh, where he's going to be doing a raccoon Santa. Uh, so if you're interested in signing up for that, reach out to Bob Hershey and um, get signed up for that. Now I think Dave's over at the class table, so I'm going to turn it back over to Dave Stetson. He's going to talk a little bit about the classes that's going on here today. Boyd Raddick in the afternoon session of his class that they started working on this morning. They're doing uh, letter openers. This is Floyd. Hello, Floyd. Hey, what's you want to tell them what you're doing? I am just Okay, that's little... enough. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Hershey's class. Bob Hershey from, from Lilith's, Pennsylvania. Bob, you want to tell everybody what you're doing? Oh, we're doing a little. Thank you, Bob. That's enough. Okay, good enough. They all got that. I expect everybody to carve one of them now. They're, they're doing a frog. A frog gold chain. This is what it looks like. Oh, wait. Where's the shadows? <laughs> yeah. You can't be that one. Except behind the other lady. It's like your face. We got Ronnie and we got Ruthie. Ronnie and Ruthie. Ruth, these are girls. You can tell that. The frogs. So one day class, but they're working at it. They started this morning. Some of them are getting along pretty good. Some of them are a little slower than others. Some of them are getting less attention. So they need to they need to start hollering at their instructor to <laughs> kick it up a notch so they can get them around to them. We have people here from a diverse segment of the United States. They come from everywhere. New Jersey, I know for a fact, Florida. Uh, talked to a lady who just came in from uh, from New Jersey and uh, we have them from California and Texas, Idaho, Washington, Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. And then we've got Joe Yu's class over here. <laughs> and he's working with armatures and getting movement into figures. And he's got a full table. But he's he's not as much of a hands-on instructor. So this is Joe, and he's telling hey, stories guys. to Paul. Hey, hi, and uh, hi, neither Joe. one of them are doing a damn thing with regard to carving. <laughs> So We're all of these students are over here being ignored. There's no carving allowed on this table. It's just all creative. All the creative juices are emanating from this table. Everybody else is just carving wood. Thank you, Joe. You yeah. can keep talking. You're doing right. good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, That's why he's going to be president. Sculpture right now. This is where the, the planning stages. This is where you figure out what your carving is going to do. So this gentleman right here is going to be the president of the Character Carvers of America, yeah. effective in January. January 1. 
So if you have any questions, <laughs> complaints, words of advice for the president of a caricature carving association, this is the man to contact. Joe is uh, one of my favorite guys, so I'm giving him a little more airtime. <laughs> Bob, not so much. Bob and Floyd, not so much. Hello. This is a gentleman, some of you may have worked with, Chris Willock, selling tools. This is on the end here is a big, tall guy with a bald head. So, Blake, where'd you go? All right, guys. So now I'm up moving around a little bit. So you got me and Bob, or me and Dave, both kind of hovering around. I'm going to flip my camera around and show a little bit about some of the rough outs and stuff that are here available and uh, let you see some of the other CCA carvers. So let me turn this around here. So you got uh, Rich Weatherby stuff here. Say hi, hello. Y'all are live on the International Association of Woodcarvers. Excuse me, sir. You know, Rich's stuff, you know, his fantastic cottonwood bark work. He's got all of his rough outs here. Here is Floyd's stuff. So as you all can see, we've got uh, the best of the best here today. Check that carving out. That's amazing. Over here, you got the merchandise. They're selling t shirts, they're signing books. Your CCA member, Ron Dowdy. Say hello, Ron. Hello. Hey, right here is the newest member of the CCA. I'm broadcasting live. Congratulations Thanks, to you. Blake. Yep. Sorry, I can't uh, reach with that hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. very excited, Elaine. Bob Thurston's got all of the stuff here. Very much, uh, very much all of the things that he carves. Congrats on your ribbons. Yeah, man, I appreciate Congrats. it. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, congratulations on CCA. Sorry, I hate to put you on the spot there. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, man. Here's some more fantastic carvings. There you are. Hey, there's you Bob. Good. Coming over recording you. Hope you don't mind. Not a bit. We enjoy you and we know you're fine. Thank you. And as you can tell, some of the people that usually are on these meetings are here live today. So that's fantastic. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're live right now, so. Thanks for your time and effort. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Come on down here. Hey, again. Say hello. We're live right now, so. I'm, I'm recording some of your stuff. Congratulations on your ribbon. So as you can see, you can participate and still not necessarily enter the show. Uh, people are selling uh, carvings here, so you can bring your carvings and sell. You can sell your rough outs. You know, you know me, high tech right here. Plenty of rough outs. Hey, Blake. Hey, Wayne Larimore, PJ Driscoll. You want to say anything, PJ? Say hello to everybody. Oh, 
it's, it's a little scary putting PJ on the spot like this. Yeah, where you put me on the spot. Sorry. Sorry about that. Got you on live here, guys. Todd's carvings and his rough outs. I'll take you on around to the other show or the other tables. Zach, as you can see, if you're interested in caricature carving, this is the place to be. Here's some fantastic advertising for the Wood Carving Academy. If you haven't signed up, I would encourage you to do so. How's it going? It's going well. How about you? Most of you all recognize Roger Segal's work. Roger's here with us somewhere. I'll have to track him down. Say hello. These guys are usually on our meetings. They don't like being put on the spot. <laughs> Is he outside? No, he's over there. Okay, I'll go out there too. Thanks. So as you can see, there's all kinds of carvings, all kinds of people here participating. Um, here's another person you'll recognize, Carol Levy. Hello, Carol. Hi. Here with uh, Mr. Dave Stetson. Wish they were here. Yeah, I wish everybody could come, right? Yeah, next year. Got Randy Landon over here signing books. Say hey, Randy. So I will uh, sit back down here real quick. Just want to encourage you all to get a chance to come out next year. Uh, this is really a great opportunity to come out and participate in uh, some carving activities and learn uh, learn caricature carving and uh, get to meet some of the best. So, uh, Dave, is there any questions in the chat? I haven't had a chance to take a look at it. Uh, the only two were in there you've answered while you've walked around, man. So you've done really well. Didn't even know it. Thanks. Um, this is going to be a short meeting. Just want to remind you all, we'll, uh, we'll hop back on 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next week. We'll have Chris Gardia on. Uh, he's going to be talking about bolo ties and Boy Scouts uh, and how those two relate. So we'll have him on 3 p.m. next Saturday. Uh, this meeting will be available either tonight or tomorrow by YouTube. If you don't like and subscribe us now, make sure you go out and like and subscribe our videos. Um, we try to share wood carving. Uh, we started this group back at the beginning of COVID. We have about 123 videos out there. Uh, I want to thank Dave uh, Levy for uh, for helping as far as editing the videos and making those available and stuff. Uh, without him, this wouldn't be possible. So I just want to say thanks to Dave personally. And uh, thank you all for joining us every week. I know sometimes you can't get on at 3 p.m. Uh, thanks for going out and checking out the videos after the fact. It really helps us out. And we hope to continue to bring wood carving to you all uh, even when you can't get out the shows and stuff, uh, definitely tune in and watch our meetings. So uh, having said all that, thanks for joining us today with the International Association of Wood Carvers. Again, this has been the first annual CCA Carving the Rockies show. Uh, we'll do it again next year. So go ahead and uh, start making plans to get out here. And I hope to see you all soon. Uh, we'll see you all next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all.